Hi, in this short tutorial, we will be going over how to attach files into a smart notebook. First of all, on the left hand side of your screen, um, as you can see right here, I have got a paper clip. I'm going to click on that paper clip. Now you can attach copies of files or shortcuts to files um, using this tab or attaching them directly to an object. Right now I'm going to show you how to attach them using um, the attachments tab. The attachments tab again is the one with the paper clip. Now attaching files enables you to find and open these items very easily while presenting from a notebook file. Okay, to attach a copy of a file you are going to click on the tab, the attachments tab, and then you're going to hit the insert button at the bottom of that open window, and you're going to select insert copy of file. As soon as I hit insert copy of file, you'll have a window come up where you browse to and select the file you want to attach. I'm going to attach the ELA file, and I'm going to click open. The file's name and size appear right here in your attachments tab. Please note that when you attach a file, the size of the notebook file increases. All those smart notebook software compresses files to condense space. The notebook software can compress some files more than others. So that's one way to attach your file. And as soon as you see it attached again, you will see your size. Now, you also can attach a shortcut to a file. With the attachment tab and that window open, you're again going to hit insert at the bottom of the attachments tab, and then you're going to select insert shortcut to file. Okay, so this time I'm going to browse to and select the file, the math file to attach. So I select the math file, and I'm going to press open. Smart Notebook doesn't export shortcuts. Please take a note of this. If you want to export a file attachment, you're going to need to attach a file, a copy of your file, not a shortcut to your file. And make sure that the file is accessible on the computer that you will be using during your lesson. So you can see here the ELA file, just to review this attachment, this PDF, um, it'll tell you the size right here. That actually is a part of my notebook file and will export with my notebook file. Right here with the blue arrow on this PDF, you can see that my math PDF is a shortcut. Therefore, if I save this particular program, this, this notebook file, and I go to a different computer, that math shortcut will not be accessible for this lesson. I also want you to note right up here, you can within this same area, you can um, go ahead and put URLs as well. So, and you would do that by insert a hyperlink and it will show up as a URL. So now within my attachments tab, you can see that I have got my different attachments. If I want to be able to attach, say, the um, ELA PDF to my Once Upon a Time object that you see right here in front of you, then I can click onto my object, go to the drop down menu, and click Link. On here I have an option. It's a current attachment right now. I just attached it to this particular file. So if I click on current attachments, it shows up right here. I click on that and I'm going to do a corner icon and I say OK. You now see I have a paper clip below my Once Upon a Time object. If I were to click this, it will automatically take me to my attachment.